a legal pioneer and the first woman to serve on the New Jersey Supreme Court, Marie Louise Garibaldi was the proud daughter of Italian immigrants who came to the United States from the region of Liguria. Her father, Louis, was a physician and a strong believer in equal opportunity for women. He was instrumental in having the hospital where he worked hire its first woman doctor. Her mother, also Marie, ran the family business and was Marie Louise's closest friend. She imbued her with a strong sense of independence. Together, Louis and Marie encouraged their only child to pursue a non-traditional career. After college, Marie Louise wanted to go to business school, but after learning that none of them accepted women, she enrolled in Columbia Law School in 1956. She pursued a successful career as a lawyer in private practice for many years and became the first woman to serve as president of the New Jersey State Bar Association before being nominated to the New Jersey Supreme Court in 1989. In that position, Garibaldi wrote landmark legal decisions and was regarded as a champion of individual rights and legal safeguards for women at home, at school, and in the workplace. By the time she stepped down from the Supreme Court in 2000, she had become one of the state's most important and revered jurists. Marie was also deeply committed to the Italian-American community. She served as a distinguished member of the NEAF Board of Directors from 2000 to her passing in January 2016 and held several leadership roles as a former chairwoman of the Foundation's Education and Grants Committee as well as its executive vice president. Her devotion and passion to Italian Americans was unquestionable, said a NEAF statement on the day of her departure. She exuded unending energy, intellectual rigor, and dignity in everything she did. The following excerpts come from a NEAF video in which Justice Marie Garibaldi shares her thoughts about her heritage and what it means to her to be an Italian American. Italian, and uh, I, where I lived, there were Italians, but it wasn't really a, an Italian organization at, or an Italian uh, area, particular, particularly. So it was uh, I, I knew everybody, but what I, <coughs> when I really became aware of how important the Italians were and how nice they were and how warm they were, was when I was uh, pointed to the. Uh, New Jersey Supreme Court. I was the first woman, and I had never been that involved in the Italian organizations. They just were so happy and warm and thrilled about my being on the Supreme Court that since then I therefore became very active in the Italian organizations. What, one is, what I wonder about the Italian organizations, I'm always surprised. Sometimes it looks as though this is never going to happen. And the next day they have a meeting and they have everything together and it's just beautiful. And uh, they're very artistic. All the, when you do programs in, of Americans, just strictly American, I mean, they're, they're efficient. And their programs are, they're nice, they're good. But if you have an Italian, it's, a, it's like art. It's, it's amazing. Instead of having a regular program, which is just an ordinary thing, you have, a, you have something for art. It's really wonderful. Well, they always, the Italians, in any organization you're involved in, they always talk about family. Even in NIAF, every single honoree, when they get up to make their speech, they 
every single one of them talk about family. And I think that that's one of the major characteristics of the Italian organization, that they have family and they keep their family and, and, and it's, it's so important to them. I think one thing that the Italians that I always look at is that they have uh, a great love of life and they, and they love people and, if, and, and that makes any, any job that you have, if you're, if, even if you're on a court and you're looking at people in the court and people get nervous and, and you know, you have to, the attorneys have to see they're asking and they get nervous. The, I try to would make them friendly so that they would feel at ease, and I think that's that the the Italians do that. I think the Italians like people. I think they were honest. Honest. Yeah. I think they're honest. Uh, they're not afraid of saying what they think should be the fact. Uh, they don't try to be cover it over. Uh, they're direct. The Italians would, would, would say, say no, no, this is, right. I don't believe that, this yeah. is what I believe this is, is what the I believe truth. In. And they love people, and I think that's probably their major characteristic.